Hi everyone and welcome to this week's lesson. We will continue using our book Prepare B1 Level 5 and we're still on Unit 1 going shopping. This week we are going to use our workbook. So our learning objectives are pretty simple. We're just going to have our e-discussion and then I will explain to you how to complete your three assignments. Firstly, we're going to have our e-discussion. This is just to make sure you guys continue to think in a practical way and to practice your English skills and analytical skills. Using page five of our workbook, the e-discussion topic is shopping at malls is more convenient than shopping at a small family owned shop. So an example of a mall is Central Westgate, okay? And then an example of a small family owned shop would be a 20 baht shop. I will use those examples. Example of a mall is Central Westgate and then an example of a small family owned shop would be a 20 baht shop. The question here is just based on whether it's better to shop at Central Westgate or it's better to shop at 20 baht shop. You guys remember the meaning of the word affirmative, right? Affirmative means yes or to agree. Non-affirmative means no or disagree. So on one hand, the topic agrees that people should shop at malls more instead of shopping at a small family owned shop because it's more convenient. Why is it convenient? Oh, by the way, the word um, convenient means that um, easy access, no problems and easy to work with. That's convenient. You have no problems and you have easy access, okay? So it's actually better to shop at malls because it's easy to go there. And the reasons why it's better to shop at malls are, there are many shops to choose from and there are different services and products. If you go to Central Westgate, you can go to the fourth floor and you can go watch movies. You can go to the third floor and you can find restaurants. You go to the second floor, you can find uh, electric gadgets and you can go for a massage or go to the dentist and then go to the first floor, buy some clothes. So there are many options and there are different services and products. So that's a good thing, right? Another reason why shopping at malls is more convenient is that malls are more aesthetic. The word aesthetic means that it's beautiful to look at. If something is aesthetic, it means that it's just beautiful to look at, okay? Malls are just beautiful. When you go to Central, you will walk for hours. You will find activities to do for hours because the mall itself is just beautiful. It's visually appealing from the world, from the word, sorry, from the word visual, which means to see. So it's just beautiful to go to the mall and see different things and go to the fountain, take some selfies. It's better to shop at the mall. It's a beautiful place to be. You can also spend more time with your family and your friends. You can walk up and down. You can look at things that are on discount and just walk around. It's really fun, right? You spend time with the people you care about. And also at malls, you can find discounts and promotions. Buy one, get one free, get one for free. Um, buy one, get the second one 50% off. There are always discounts and promotions somewhere. And then malls are more lively. Lively basically means energetic, okay? Malls are lively people are happy, people are just enjoying themselves, and it's a good environment. So affirmative, shopping at malls is more convenient than shopping at a small family owned shop. On the other hand, non-affirmative, disagree. We think that it is better to shop at a small family owned business 
My example is a 20 baht shop. Why is it better to shop at a 20 baht shop instead of Central Westgate? Well, first of all, if you shop at a mall, you spend more money, right? You, you will go to Central and you will buy ice cream or you will buy the french fries, you know those cheesy french fries? Mm, oh my God. Oh, you will buy the cheesy french fries for 60 baht. And then afterwards, you'll continue walking, walking, walking. Next thing you know, you want to buy bubble milk tea, 55 baht. And then after that, when you relax, you now need some water. And then that's 20 baht. So when you shop at a mall, you spend more money. You're spending more money instead of saving money. But if you shop at a small family-owned shop, you will support a local business. You're supporting local businesses, the plural. You're supporting local businesses. You're supporting small families that will use the money to buy food and to pay for school fees and to buy new school uniforms. So you're supporting other families. It's also more convenient to buy from a small family owned shop because you're saving money when you buy from them. When you go to 20 baht shop, you know you're not going to buy bubble milk tea, okay? So you're going to buy something that is specific. You know what you want. You know what you want and you will not waste money. And then the last thing, the products from a small family owned shop are usually cheaper. The prices are original, okay? The prices are original and they, the family just makes their own profit without you paying too much money. Question, which side are you on? Do you think that it is better and more convenient to shop at malls or it is better and more convenient to shop at a small family owned business? I'm personally going to have to say non-affirmative so i'm supporting the small family owned businesses because i i feel it's better to support small businesses i can save my money mm -hmm. and i can support someone else and help them make profit they can use for their family but i know some people will choose shopping at the malls because they want to spend time with their friends and malls are more beautiful, that's okay. And some people will be neutral, they'll be in between. They agree with shopping malls and they agree with family-owned shop. But personally, I say non-affirmative. Shopping at malls is not convenient. I think it's better to shop at small family-owned shops or small family-owned businesses. Okay, so that's the discussion for this week. Now, we just have one reading exercise and then I will explain your assignments. Soon after this, I will explain your assignments. It looks like when we use the workbook, the PowerPoint video is very short because I'm just explaining to you how to do the work. But when I use the student's book i definitely have to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk because i have to explain some things but when i have the workbook very simple i'm just i'm just explaining how to do the homework okay so here we have our reading passage for this week our reading passage for this week is titled the biggest shopping center in the world do you guys know where the biggest shopping center in the world is da, 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 dubai now we're going to read this passage it's not very long and as we read the passage we have some blank spaces we have one two three four five blank spaces and we need to fill those blank spaces with these sentences in order to complete the reading passage the answers are, they are customer service desks too, where you can ask for directions. That's just outside the, mo the mall too. Sometimes my friends and I share one. 
We can't afford to buy much there, even when there are discounts or promotions. You can get anything you like. All right, let's read quickly and then I will explain your homework. Dubai is an amazing place to go shopping and if you love fashion, this is the place to come. My favorite place is the Dubai Mall. It's the largest shopping center in the world by total area and they are about 1,200 shops. There are different districts in the mall. For example, there's one whole section which sells shoes and another which sells jewelry. I often spend time walking up and down Fashion Avenue with my friends. That's where the designer shops are like Dolce and & Gabbana and & Dior. Hmm, which sentence goes here from these options? I would definitely have to say, because we're talking about shopping. We're talking about Dolce and & Gabbana and & Dior. So the sentence that relates to this statement would be, we can't afford to buy much there even when there are discounts and promotions. It's great to look in the windows at the luxury items though. By the way, when you just go to the mall and you just look through the windows, that is called window shopping, okay? That is window shopping. When you go to a mall and you just look at the shops and what they're selling, but you don't buy anything, window shopping. Continue. Some people think shopping malls are boring, but the, 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 the sorry, but the Dubai it's so confusing. But the Dubai mall isn't. Of course, there are a lot of shops, but there are plenty of other things to see and do there. There's an aquarium and underwater zoo, and we go to the cinema or ice skating there as well. So this is talking about the activities. This section is talking about activities. I'm gonna have to go for, which sentence would be next? I would have to go for, there are customer service desks too, where you can ask for directions. Why? You need them because it's pretty easy to get lost. There are a lot of places to eat in the mall, all right? So what correlates with eating at a mall? We have one, two, three options. I would have to go for, you can get anything you like. There's fast food, many different kinds of international food and healthy stuff too. I love going to the Rainforest Cafe. We usually get fruit smoothies and burgers. There's one called the jungle chicken burger which is delicious the desserts are great i love seeing little kids faces when the sparkling volcano dessert arrives at their table it's a huge chocolate thing Ooh, all right oh there we go sometimes my friends and i share one ha huh, so that's quite obvious the last one is this answer but because it's me i'm still gonna read okay Next to the mall is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. You can travel up to the observation deck at the top of the building from the mall. From there, you can look down on Dubai. I don't go up there very often because everything looks so small from above that you can't see it very well. I go to the Dubai fountain several times a year. A year though that's just outside the mall too. It's the world's largest musical fountain and it's free to watch. It's fun. All right, that's it. So let me explain your homework, okay? This week, you guys have three assignments. Three, one, two, three. The first assignment, please use any notebook. Guys, we are on lockdown. Do not worry about using a Tepsirin notebook. Just use any notebook, a 10 baht notebook from 7-Eleven. I don't mind. Any notebook, okay? So using any, any notebook, please complete the sentences with the words in the box. In the box, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words to choose from, but you only need to use six okay you have eight options but we only need to use six please write in any notebook but 
use that notebook every week because on 1 July, I will collect all my notebooks. Any notebook, it does not have to be a Tepsiri notebook, any notebook. Just use the same notebook every week. 1 July, I will come and collect my books. Second assignment. This time around, I have given everyone access to the document, okay? So if you check in your lesson for this week, everyone, you have this document. I think you have this document. If you don't have the document, just download, answer, and then upload, okay? So this is class two, 26 May to 2 June, 2020. Okay, write your nickname, your student ID. With this exercise, you have been given three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. You have fifteen words to choose from, and you actually have fifteen definitions. Okay, so please make sure you just type in the actual definition from this box. You type it here, and it has to match with the term so the term and the definition have to match exercise number two grammar you have to complete the sentences by choosing the correct answer please delete the wrong answer delete the wrong answer and keep the correct answer that's it for assignment two upload in google classroom assignment number three and then you are done Go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the code 4336114. The title of your quiz is M5B1 English Grammar General Questions. It's due on the 2nd of June at 11.45 p.m. Guys, 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 when you enter your ID, please just put your nickname and your student number. If your nickname is Sunshine, then you write Sunshine. And if your student number is 14993, then you put your student number, okay? So just put your nickname and your student number. Don't put your full name, don't put your girlfriend's name or your boyfriend's name, even though I want to know. <laughs> put your nickname and your student number because I need to check my attendance. The problem is that when we open school, I want to know who didn't do my work. So this is how I'm checking attendance, okay? Your nickname and your student number, and then I'm able to check my attendance. This way, when we open school, I will know who needs to get extra work or who needs help before.